Hi, my name is Wally, and I've been working at the Habitat for Humanity Restore in Walton County since 2017, and I am also a Habitat homeowner. What I love most about working with Habitat is that I get to help the organization that helped me, and also I get to help other people that are in need. One of the things that uh, motivates me about helping with the Restore and a lot of the other volunteers is that while we're very fortunate to build three houses a year, we're touching just three families. The Restore probably touches, does probably eight to 10,000 transactions a year, and to see people be able to buy material and things for their home that they probably would not be able to afford to fix doors, to get furniture, to get windows that are leaking fixed is really a quite positive uh, aspect. The Restore is so important to us as core volunteers who build because that's what finances our building, but it's also amazing to um, go in there and see the things that didn't end up in a landfill that are so useful. We shop there, um, we donate there. Uh, it's just an uh, amazing opportunity for people who can't otherwise afford to find construction materials. It does generate sufficient funds to help cover operating expenses so that 100% of all the revenue that comes in can go to building the houses. So while we've been really appreciative of the time that we've had in our current location, it didn't take us long to figure out we needed a much larger facility and something that we could control our revenue stream. Our current restore is a challenge because the majority of our storage is outside in shipping containers and that's pretty hard to keep things in good condition that we can, so we can sell it. There isn't one building that they can walk in, so somebody coming to shop, there really is no way of organizing the inventory so that they can easily see what's available. The reason we need a new store is because we don't have enough room. It is very, it's a lot of work to put the furniture out every morning and then bring it back in, and if it rains, we have to bring it back in. So if we have a new restore, that would eliminate this all, and we would have more time to spend with our customers and serve them. So we are so excited to be able to announce that we're building a brand new 18,500 square foot Habitat Restore. The building itself will consolidate all of our services and that includes an air-conditioned showroom, a mezzanine level for our administrative offices, and a huge warehouse. And probably most importantly to our patrons, adequate parking, a loading dock, and a donation processing center. And with the new Restore, we project over just a few short years to triple our profits, which allows us to build more houses for the hardworking families of Walton County. We are so excited about the new Restore because it's better for the community, it's better for our workers, and in the summertime, especially in the summer when it's so hot, when it's 100 and 110, 120 degrees here, we can stay inside. And we have more room, we can take more donation, and we can serve more people, and we can build more houses. I'm really just excited that it's it's inside, you know, and it's 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 a it's going to be a, a decent work environment where we can actually store things and actually and actually not worry about the rain destroying half of our our items. But we need your help. This is a 3.1 million dollar project, and we can't do it without you. So please consider a sponsorship or a donation, or a long-term pledge. This huge investment is Habitat's long-term commitment to Walton County and the hard-working homeowners who call this little piece of paradise home. Thank you for supporting Walton County Habitat for Humanity and making a difference right here in your community.